a Dragon Ball Sparking Zero game mode showcase? You telling me this this just came out of nowhere? We got a little surprise on this, uh, what is it, Thursday? Thursday morning? I was getting ready for work, so my boss is just going to have to understand. We're just getting straight into it. My boss is just going to have to understand on this one. Gameplay showcase. We turn off the captions. Thank you for uh, giving us more information. We're happy to confirm that the release date will be October 11th. Yes, yes. No problem. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Yes, Two game modes, Episode Battle and Custom Battle. But you're not able to show off. What is this? What the? Move out the way. Let me, let me, so I'm sorry. Let me, I gotta see what he said because something popped up. We're happy to be able to jump into more detail. First up is Episode Battle. In this single player mode, you can take the point of view of eight different characters, including Goku and Vegeta, and enjoy famous battles from the anime. Number of stages and battles vary by character. For example, Goku has the largest number of stages, beginning from when he fights Raditz up to including his fights in the Tournament of Power Saga. Just quick pause. So we have eight different perspectives to go through in the story mode or episode battle. I have some thoughts on that. I'll I'll um I'll say them after the trailer's over or this showcase is over. But this this reminds me of a different Dragon Ball game. Additionally, certain cutscenes allow players to experience parts of the story, which will help allow players to further immerse themselves in the character's experiences. Certain stages depend on your actions and choices. Players will be able to change the outcome of the story that differ from anime series. Yep. That's so fire. Goku turning Super Saiyan in the, in the Saiyan Saga. That's so different. Okay, so we got a little more information on that. Custom battle, alright. What's, what's custom battle? Pause, let me pause this. Within the custom battle, there is bonus battles, a mode where we prepare several original battle situations developed for you to enjoy. So let's look at this. So, world tournament, no crowd. Um, I'm guessing that's the stage. No time limit. Transform Transformations, yes, are allowed. Switch limit rules. Okay, so... Hercule versus Master Roshi, Chaozu, Tien, and and Krillin, all the baldies. Um, high class war. It's been a while since we've had a real fight, Mister Satan. So wow. So it's huh. So I guess depending on the character you choose, there will be different scenarios in this custom. I'm, I'm just gonna keep it playing. I'm gonna keep it playing. He'll he'll explain it. I'm sure. Extra battle. では。This most some battles will have different victory conditions and some might have event cutscenes pop up. Oh wow. So not only are we getting uh this is like an almost like an arcade mode, but we also are gonna get like cutscenes in between I'm guessing like char character um interactions within the custom battles. Uh so that that's gonna be dope. And we have to do a certain uh, win condition to to pass. So that's that's pretty, that's pretty dope. That's pretty dope. You've been able to enjoy battles different from the norm. Come on, there we go. In edit mode, you be able to freely set the characters to be played as. Oh wow. You can create your own. Oh, wait. Wow. So I'm, I'm thinking that the game created these custom battles for you to play. But no, this is something you create yourself and you can share with people online, similar to how the story mode can be shared. And you can create your own cutscenes, create your own, your own um, battle conditions. 
this is almost like endless content because you could just find random stuff online that people create it and play it yourself. This is, hey man. Extra battle of Kume, his own battle, customized state, Aratana battle of Skuru Kotomo de Kimasno de. Try your hand at making a whole variety of battles. So you can use base content and then build on top of that. Wow. Now, in addition to these game modes, we'd like to talk about local multiplayer battling, which is a great thing that they added. Our focus for this game was seeing how far we could get players to really become Dragon Ball series characters. I'm happy about that because Xenoverse, everybody was only focused on their character, which made sense. We want to show effects like wind blasting around and weather changing. Yeah, That's, it's insane how beautiful this game looks. Yeah, stage destruction is just on a whole nother level with them using uh, Unreal Engine. It was difficult to implement local split screen multiplayer while retaining those core elements. Oh, okay. <coughs> That's why I'm thinking that um they said... Uh, I'm pretty sure they'll bring it up in this, but I'm pretty sure that's why they said we could only do local split screen on um, on the in the hyperbolic time chamber because there's not a lot of destructive elements besides the besides the uh, the main area or the main building itself. However, we have always wanted for as many people as possible to enjoy the game in various situations. After careful consideration, we have decided to implement the split screen multiplayer mode exclusively within the hyperbolic time chamber stage. Dope. There will be unfortunately be a slight inconvenience during the character selection before a split screen battle. That's expected. That's expected because with a game built like this, it's just a lot of moving parts, a lot of things going on. So. I understand why they did this because it's it's a lot that goes into these games nowadays so having to condense everything into two screens and trying to play online would just cause a lot of issues uh but it, it's great that we have local multiplayer but it sucks that um you know it's yeah it it, it, it just sucks that it's stuck to that we're only stuck to playing at the hyperbolic time chamber <laughs> That's it for the game modes. Reveal this time. We hope this demonstration shows you the unique points of the game. Pre-order is available now. Man, I bought the premium ultimate deluxe edition. Man. What uh, version are you guys getting? Let me know in the comment section down below. Like I said, I'm getting the premium collector's edition. It sucks that the premium collector's edition will not come with the three days early access. So it looks like I'm going to be probably having to buy the game again. It sucks. All right. We're giving it our all for Dragon Ball Sparking Zero's release. So we hope to have your continued support. Oh, for sure. For sure, bro. Is that the end? That is the end. October 11th, y'all. So we got a very jam-packed showcase. I'm glad that we got some more information on uh, some of the game modes. Um, it, I wish there was maybe something else. Maybe they'll add something else and give us another game mode at some point uh, before the release of the game. Um, I'm happy that what we got, but only two game modes. Well, technically three if you're talking about the offline, uh, multi, the offline split screen. Uh, but um, me personally, I hope there's maybe what, another game mode, but maybe I'm just asking for too much. But let's just go back over what we had seen in this showcase. Um, I know I pretty much stopped um, in between a few times just to uh, give my thoughts. But there's a few things I just wanted to see again. So episode battle and custom battle. Episode battle is the story mode. That is the story mode. They're just calling it different. And the fact that we have eight different character perspectives that we're going to be able to play through. One being Goku with the main character. So we're going to definitely get a lot of scenarios. Like they said, we'll be able to play with Goku from the very beginning all the way up to the Super Saga. I'm sure the same with Vegeta. So Vegeta's going to be another one. Um, 
I'm sure we'll get some villain perspective. So we may get Frieza because Frieza pops up a lot of times. He's in the in the Frieza saga as well as in Super. So I'm sure I can see Frieza being another um, perspective uh, on the villain side. So there might be four and four. It might be four four heroes, four villains. It might be six heroes, two villains. Um, maybe I'll make a video on that on my speculations on what characters could be chosen with those eight different um perspectives in the episode battle so that might be something i can cook up um but it's it's just very interesting and then within each character's within each character's um episode i get episodes i guess uh you can choose different different paths which is almost endless possibilities or multiple ways to play the game which is adds to the, the replayability of this game it's, it's, it's insane it's insane and, and of course we also know that we can share each other's experiences and post them online so other people can play your path which is insane it, it's just it's just completely insane and like earlier i said that i that th that this feature kind of reminded me of a previous dragon ball game and that's um budokai 3 i don't know if you guys remember budokai 3 um, they pretty much let you play through the story mode with every single Z fighter. You could even play through the story, if I'm not mistaken, with like Krillin. Uh, you could play with Yamcha. I, I think Yamcha. You play with Piccolo, and you can play through all their perspectives. So this, this isn't something new. This is something uh, that they've done in a previous game. Um, they they might have done it in another Dragon Ball game. I just can't think off the, off the top of my head. I just know Budokai 3 was the first thing that popped up because this is my favorite Dragon Ball game of all time, personally. Um, so that's cool that they brought this back, brought that back into this brand new game, um, and doing it a little bit differently because, um, on Budokai 3, you still have to play within the bounds of the story itself. Whereas this, of course, you can, um, choose your own storyline basically. So, um, just a little, you know, a little, so little something, something, I, you know, I, I play a lot of Dragon Ball games, so I can pull from, from my, um, pull from my memories and stuff like that. So yeah, so that's episode battle. Um, if there's anything that you guys caught, please let me know. I, I anything that you guys see or that I, I didn't touch on, please let me know. I I, I I genuinely cannot wait for this game. And anything that you guys bring up, I'm just gonna love it. Love it even more and we can debate about it, talk about it, whatever in the comments. Now this is very I'm, I don't know. I'm still. I'm not confused. I know what's going on with this game mode, but also I'm kind of, in a way, confused. So I'm. Sh I'm sure that this game will give you battles to play. Just, just go ahead and play battles that they have pre-made for you, and then I'm guessing you can just build on top of that, or take story scenarios and build on top of that and change it. You can change the. Um, the battle conditions the win conditions so again like i said for us content creators this is like endless content we can challenge our friends to do certain scenarios um we can create our own cutscenes. like the possibilities are endless so maybe they won't have another game mode on top of this i'm pretty sure this is i mean this is the game mode showcase so i'm i'm guessing in their mind this custom battle is like us getting endless content so they'll never have to really add another game mode either way this is fire either way this is fire i'm glad that i was able to catch this before i left and uh again just want to know what you guys think i'm going to continue covering sparking zero and if you're here for that don't forget to leave a like subscribe notification bell and uh there may be a little giveaway coming here soon so stay tuned for that see you guys in the next video peace